It's nice to see you as usual. I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. I'll be streaming tomorrow too, so it's, it's fine. Good night, Smiler. This game has really loud music, huh? I just don't want it to be louder than me whispering. This game is called I Live Under Your House. And if you're wondering if I live under your house, you should go check right now. Because it's... Connor, thank you for the 19 months of sub! Holy shit, thank you for the resub, Connor. Now, now is the perfect time to check if I live under your house because I'm occupied and I won't insta-kill you if you check now, you know? So, so, time to start digging, folks. Okay, I actually don't know what this game is about, I just picked it up today. You found a pill bug? It might be me. <laughs> insta-kill. Yeah, didn't you know, Dindin, if you, if you, if you, if you catch me looking at you IRL, you just die. It's true. <laughs> Anyways, I'm obviously tired. Amber, I hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you. And Connor, thank you again for the resub. Yeah, that explains why people are so scared of you. I died for a minute, a whole minute. <laughs> All right, let's let's start. I already got an achievement, the awakening. I open my eyes and here I am, home again. It's such a wonderful feeling. I have to hit E. Do I? Do As usual, no one. That's good. That's very good. I like being alone. Wait, what's this? Okay, nothing. Oh, now I can... Okay. This is the main hall. How nice it is here. Every time I come here, I feel joy and pride because I dug all these holes. Hmm, I don't even know which hole to go into first today. E strategy, how are you? Is it weird that I like these aesthetics? I do too. Tasteless fish, how's it going? Nice to see you. Okay, so, so we have multiple arrows, so I'm not sure. Um... Wait, it was blinking here. Oh, look at that. What beautiful orifices. There are no favorites here, all equally pleasing to me. That's why I sometimes squint my eyes and rush into the tunnel as if at random. Orifices? Ahead of me is my pebble space, where I keep the different stones I find during my excavations. I like to look at them, to stroke them. Oh, how I like to stroke them. Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone, and the feeling is so real. I can feel it at the tip of my fingers. I love stones. What did I just read? Is this game poor? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't do the walls and the surroundings of this place. Surprisingly, it's always been this way. I can't even imagine how such a wonderful place came to be, as if it had been prepared especially for me. Okay. Ah, uh, sir. Oh. Look, there's pebbles. This is how you talk to yourself every day about stones? Luna, nice to see you. <laughs> Something about me whispering this is making you extra on edge. Oh, jeez. Oh. I found a rock sharp enough to cut through someone's belly. Oh, that's great. I found a rock to cut someone's belly. I'm looking Omega comfy today, thank you Luna. I have to be quiet or you'll hear me under the house, exactly. Yeah, it does kind of look like a real picture, doesn't it? It might be. Okay, let's see. Anything else in this room? Let's see this. This is my sleeping place. This is where I usually sleep. Although I can sleep anywhere, I still prefer to sleep here. Okay. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep yet. Okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna move this. There we go. Um. So are we going to come back to sleep here later? Every tunnel is different. For example, this one is narrower than the others. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in it and then my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense. I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I want to get out of it. I love this feeling. Achievement unlocked. Mommy? Helix, thank you for the resub! 10 months! Holy crap. Helix, thank you for the resub. She died when I was born, or so it seemed to me. I never knew my father, and maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I have been alone all my life. At first, I just watched her body, hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it and I would have a new relative. However, this did not happen. I talked to her body from time to time out of loneliness, though I mooed and made different sounds rather than spoke. I had to eat its various parts because I was hungry, so I am grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Over time, I began to notice that her body was crusting over and the places I had bitten were getting scarred. I realized that she was still alive so I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to take too big a bite. Quiet time spooky games, yes. Luna, I have all the Witcher games, I feel like I should play them. I've been meaning to for a long time. And she, she does look good for being dead. She does, I agree. Layer after layer, of her body grew a kind of crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. I don't know how much time had passed since then, but I waited, and waited long enough for something to happen, but nothing happened. It 
It's a pity she never saw what a beautiful creature I had become. How many tunnels I had dug. Well now, I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. Great. I'm tired of worrying about her. The remnants of the creature I came out of. I was worried that it would come out of the cocoon and want to eat me or avenge all my bites, but apparently it just decided to die quietly. Now my anxiety was gone. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Oh, we have the battle. If nobody saw it. Okay. Um, anything else in here? No, okay. So that's our mom's body then? Or what we think is our mom? Are we a parasite? What are we? Oh wait. Okay, um, let's go farther in. I rarely go outside, especially since he's waiting for me on the way. There's a spirit standing right at the exit. And every time I pass by, he starts talking to me. I don't like to intercourse with him. Oh. oh, can I not go outside? Shall I go to bed? <laughs> They're laughing at me. Every night, when I try to sleep, they come to make fun of me. They laugh. They have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid, looking for opportunities to make fun of me so they can come and laugh at me. Sometimes they talk to me. They whisper things. They want me to go outside. After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry, so I crawl outside in search of food. Ah! What a terrible noise. Why don't I turn that down? What, what is that? Why is it so loud? Sounds are perfect. Hold on. Oh, we're about to kill someone. Ah, it won't stop. What the hell? I don't seem to have any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. Turn it up a little bit. There you are. I knew you'd show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? I don't want to leave my home. Maybe it will su subside on its own. Nonsense. Maybe they came to take your home. Maybe they came for you. Who knows what's making those awful noises? You must come out. <laughs> Chippy. I'm busy stroking my stones. Okay, so I am out, and then what? You know what's next. The same thing you always do, the same thing you do when you're hungry. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle? It's time to go outside again. Hachi machi. Hey Liger, how are you? As soon as I curled out into the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. There were metal creatures everywhere, and a horrible looking structure stood before my eyes. I had no specific plan of action, but one thing was obvious to me. There's construction going on, and they're building right over my head, and something has to be done about it. 
There were too many people around and I couldn't act out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment and I started watching. You have a cinnamon bun, so you're good. Jealous. You vile creatures will pay for disturbing my peace. <gasps> Are they in my hole? Yeah, bees, 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 what should I do with you? I have to be careful. If they find me, it's all gone. But I can't do nothing either. My strength is enough to deal with only one of them, but maybe if you kill one... The hunger is getting stronger and stronger. No strength to hold back. Someone, oh, something has to be done. Wait, why does that look like Markiplier? Yum yum yum, yummy bee. This is my school room. After the first time I ate a human, I lay tired outside and didn't even have the energy to crawl back home. The very first one I had was some guy sitting in the woods drinking beer and talking to himself. At first, I didn't want to do anything to him. I was just interested in watching him. When he noticed me, he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger. Then he suddenly picked up a stick and started hitting me with it. When it was over, I lay there for a long time looking at his skull. Over time, I have accumulated so many skulls that sometimes I burrow it inside this pile and gradually fall asleep. I do that every night. Worker skull. Another skull in my skull collection. I absolutely have no- oh, I have absolutely no memory of how it all happens. It's like I'm in a wild ecstasy and then it's over. My stomach is full, my breathing is heavy, and I want to sleep. Catacombs indeed. We selected eat more compliant. <laughs> Eventually the house was finished. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Where would I go? I don't have the energy to dig new tunnels. From time to time, I crawl out to see if everything was okay, if they were looking for me. For some reason, I had the distinct feeling that they had come to hunt me down. Then one day, people came in and dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in a blue dress yelled at them and waved her hands, and then everyone left, but the woman stayed in the house. Time passed, and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. Well, she doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However... Pretty quickly, my life turned into a nightmare. Pretty much my entire living area was right under this house. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. Her life became part of my life. Gradually, I got to know her schedule, what she does, how she does it. I knew all her habits, the rhythm of her gait. I began to feel that my sleep was disturbed. I just couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding, muttering, and shuffling over my body. In the few hours when I did manage to sleep, those ghosts of the night would come back to haunt me and make fun of me. 
Oh yes, now they really had a lot to laugh about. Thus my torture became a 24 hour routine. I have to do something about it, even at the risk of being caught, at the risk of losing my home. I don't have a home anymore, she took it from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Oh, there's chapters. Love? Question mark. Oh, oops. I hit my desk. A thrill of excitement overwhelms me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. Oh, are we at a window? Okay. I need to look around carefully before I act. <gasps> oh, I didn't know I could move. I need to look around carefully. Can I interact with anything? We have to kill this woman. Eat her. This is the first time I've ever been inside a human house. There's so much space, it makes me sick. The only thing worse than this is the outdoors. We're very small. Ah, I know what it is. It's called a book. Once upon a time, I was very hungry and just at that moment, a little man sat down next to the entrance of my home. I remember, I remember he had little hands, little feet, and he was like a puppet. That little man also had a bag with him. I don't remember being aware of all the dangers of this world at the time, so I climbed out of my hiding place with interest and began to look at him. Maybe we're crawling. Crawling in your skin. I got that reference. The little man didn't notice me right away, but when he did see me, his eyes widened and his mouth opened in that unimaginable, unimaginable way and made a horrible, disgusting sound. That sound was driving me crazy. I wanted to get closer to him, but he kept crawling farther and farther away from me. Eventually, the feeling came over me, and then all I remember was his head in my hands. His body was lying somewhere nearby. His bag he had brought with him was slightly torn, and then I saw books scattered around. I don't know why they caught my eye, but I took them with me. Many pages were badly damaged and stained with blood. Some pages were missing altogether, but that didn't stop me. I began to study, what, study them, and it was thanks to these books that I was able to learn the language of these creatures and get some idea of the human world. I found new books over time, for example, Recently, when I ate a couple of campers, I enjoy reading. I'll have to remember to pick up, pick this book up when I'm all done. Okay, note to self, take the book after we're done killing the woman. I'm not familiar with human life, but I once saw construction workers staring into a similar dark box. They stared so intensely and sometimes oh so intently and sometimes shouted something and raised their hands in the air. Strange creatures. I get can I get up on the couch? Huh. This thing is so soft and comfortable. It's like earth after rain, but it's still better in the hole. We really like our hole. These sick bastards are ripping out plants and putting them in containers. Plants 
my friends. Although the plants in on my shirt are in containers, but it says plants are friends. Well, the wounds does not heal. Which which ones? You monster. I find it difficult to understand the meaning of these perverse acts. Agreed. locked. Bathroom. Ah, uh, what a horrible, terrifying sound. I'll have to deal with that thing, it scares me. 10 out of 10 game, eh? Flushable toilet? Oh. Oh. I couldn't get all the way on top of things. I remember people lugging these boxes here. I wonder what's in them. Now I can brush my teeth. Can I climb the boxes? Oh, I can. Voting it's a worm. You think we're a worm? We kind of make footsteps. Is that... person sleeping? That's it. There she is, lying in front of me. All that's left to do is to take the first step. But I don't dare. Why? Something is wrong. My mood is not the same. I don't feel the same rush of energy and unbearable restraint as before. Well, maybe I should come back later. Apparently now is not the right time. Yeah, I should definitely keep an eye on her. Maybe it's a trap. Well, until next time, Birdie. Why couldn't I kill her? And all the sounds she makes now don't seem so disgusting to me. I would even say that I became interested in hearing what she was doing. There's water running down the pipe somewhere, and here she seems to be taking things out of boxes. Huh. I wonder what she keeps in them after all. I think when I was lying at her door, I felt something strange. A feeling I'd never- I had oh, I never had before toward another living creature. Pirate, I hope you have a safe flight. If you don't have Wi-Fi, I hope you fall asleep or something and the flight goes by quickly. Thank you for, for the gifts you sent me. And yeah, have a have a safe flight. You think it's gonna turn into a love story? I don't know. I don't know. Everyone say have a safe flight, pirate. Okay. And so I look at the pile of skulls, and I want to take some of my best skull, my dearest one, and take it to her. Leave it under the door somewhere. What is happening to me? Are we gonna leave her a skull? 
I love it. Oh, this has changed. A pile of laundry. I could smell it as soon as I entered the room. That smell, it holds your breath. I've never smelled anything like it before. Maybe I should take something with me, just as a reminder. I got an achievement called Dress Lover. I decided to take one of her dresses with me. locked. You know how expensive human skulls are? It's hard to get human skulls. You can't just get them willy-nilly. The bathroom is closed. Oh, she's organized her room a little bit. Achievement unlocked. Inquisitive and attentive reader. So she likes reading as much as I do. That's great. She reads so carefully that even that she even highlights individual pieces with circles. On one of the pages, I saw a picture of a headless body. It looked suspicious, suspiciously familiar to me, but I can't remember where from. Well. Now that I know what was in those boxes, I don't have to dig through them myself. Even harder these days with surveillance cameras everywhere? Oh, I see. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Where is she? Strange. The bed is empty and apparently she's not in the house either. Where could she have gone at this hour? I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes soon. Wow, that's really big. That's massive. Look at this. We even gave her some, some of the rib cage and the... Wow, we, that was that's a nice gift. Wow, and some of the vertebrae. I love who we are. So generous. Back to the window then. Here you are, back again, but something has changed in you. Nothing has changed in me. Everything is the same as before. Is it? I thought you liked being alone. It is, and I will always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why did you hesitate when you had a chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? The same thing that always happens. Shut up. Your mere appearance will cause her to vomit. You're different from her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Or do you think she'll move here? Ah ha ha ha, maybe, but only if in pieces, right? Shut up, you vile spirit. I'll prove you wrong. I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom. And we'll go back to my place together, you understand? 
Ah ha 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 ha. I told you, you've changed. Helix, no. It's not just like your life. Am I gonna wait in her room? I think this is too soon. He's... He's encouraging us to move too fast. It looks like she's been drinking. There's bottles of wine. The laundry is gone. The bedroom door is wide open. But the skull is gone. I feel like this is a trap. What does this say? A note addressing Mark. Mark, who is he? The note tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand that contains candles needed for... I don't understand. There's a lot of words I don't know. Marie says, Damn it, Mark, we did it. Take it to the basement. Was she trying to trap me? Mark says, Pay attention, it's still moving. Marie says, Should we just dismember it right in the basement? My whole body hurts terribly. What happened? I don't remember how I got here at all. I read the note and then, ah, oh, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. Oh no. Betrayed by our first love? The front door is wide open. But I don't trust the front door. Maybe let's go to the window. No, the windows are shut. Chapter 2. Betrayal? Hello? There we are. Is that a tent? This is the tent of those pesky campers. They obviously, obviously shouldn't have set up a camp near my place. This game is getting pretty intense. Her dress? What is it doing here now? Oh, what is it doing here? How? <gasps> Did someone steal her dress from me? I don't want it anymore, anyways. backpack is remarkably similar to the one the little man had. I remember how, in some fit of rage and hunger, I killed him, and books fell out of this, the exact same backpack. I took them, and that's how I learned to understand the language of humans. What's going on here? Do I walk out into the darkness?
This is a really cool game. It was $2. Why does that look like a weird circle that I shouldn't step into? What's this? Oh, what is it? Salt? It wasn't here before. My body feels weak and sleepy, so I think I should lie down for a while, but I need to go first. <gasps> Did it really work? Why is that thing still moving? Fuck. Something is wrong. Mark, I told you we should have dismembered it. At least we had a chance in the basement while it was passed out. You know, it wouldn't help anyway. It can only be killed through a ritual. That's what the book said. My whole body feels as if it's, it is weightless. I can't move. I can barely, barely look from side to side. What's going on here? That's her. The girl I risked myself for by getting out. Who's that with her? I don't remember him. What an ugly thing it is. Do you think it knows what's going on? Who cares what that thing understands? Mark, it killed our father. Why doesn't it just die? Oh, why, why doesn't it die is what worries me. Ugly. Why does she say such hurtful words? She didn't like what I brought her? And this is after all we've had? What a fool I was. I thought we were made for each other. It seemed to me that I knew her well, that maybe somewhere deep down in her soul she guessed about my presence and was waiting for me to come. Are you sure we haven't forgotten anything? Solomon's cell is holding it together, but I don't see foam from its mouth or blue flames or anything like that. Holy shit, Mark, you're asking me that? Well, yes, I'm asking you. You have the book. Is your character an incel? You know, I was wondering the same thing when I read that. That's what I thought would happen someday. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should really die. Why should I live? When she treats me like that, I feel something new again, as if a thousand needles were tearing me from inside. Oh shit, Mark. I get it. We forgot. Don't tell me. We forgot the fucking candles, Mark. Fucking candles. I think my strength is coming back to me. Huh. I can move again. So that's how it is. She wanted to get rid of me all this time, well... You know, you've brought me a lot of new sensations, feelings that I haven't experienced before. And now, after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. I want to take you out to dinner. Mark, I think it's going to break out. Now it's your turn to come to my house. Chapter 3 Revelation? Oh, I got ending 3? There's multiple endings. I moved into Marie's house. You could say she invited me herself, huh? Now she and I talk to each other a lot. I also began to better understand why people put flowers in pots. However, I don't use flowers. I like other things to furnish my surroundings. I also removed that awful black box. Now instead it's something that is pleasing to my eye. I think I can live here. Marie doesn't seem to mind, either. I'm getting more and more used to open spaces. Marie and I will have to go down to my place one more time, though. We are expecting children. I can't imagine how it happened myself, but the larvae are already pretty big. 
They will need to be taken to my lair after all, they are my children. They will be more comfortable there. By the way, the voices have stopped and I don't hear that awful, awful laughter anymore. I think I now know what the word happiness means. And yet, sometimes I feel sad. That was really good. That was really good. Now I'm wondering what the ending would be if we don't kill... If we don't kill the construction workers, and if we don't pick up the stone. I wonder how many endings there are. And if you don't take the dress, yeah. Thank you for playing. A worm only has two ends. This doesn't add up.